Hello there, my friends. This is an update of my free-to-play UIM. It's uh, pretty long past overdue. I haven't made a video on RuneScape in a while. I actually stopped playing for like three or four months. I mean, I'd come back every once in a while and get some XP here and there, but there's no telling how long I'm going to stay committed to it again, but I will always keep coming back. So I will chip away at these skills one by one, but it's hard when you're an adult out here working full-time, you know. The only time I really get to play is like on the weekend since I go to bed and get up so early. So here's the method I'm currently working on for smithing. I'm at 62 right now. I think I was at like 59 in the last update. I was at like, I don't know what, I was even at 68 mining maybe. I was at 70 crafting. I obviously haven't made that much progress, but it is extremely slow as you can see. Like. XP rates are not the best. Actually, they're, this is like 12k, but I stopped playing for a few hours and I kept going, so these aren't really realistic. But basically, uh, reserve four worlds here and uh, just keep hopping between them. And by the time you finish mining in the fourth world, you can go back and uh, the other worlds should be replenished. So you don't have to take up a bunch of space. I know a lot of people hop between a lot of them, and it gets annoying because you hop on top of other people, and you're fighting over war. So if you're one of the people that are mining there, just know that you only need, like, four worlds maximum efficiency. So basically, I fill up my inventory, and I walk all the way over to the furnace because by the time I finish actually smelting all this, I should be at, like, 100 run, and then I run back. And that's the only time when my inventory is empty, I will run because it doesn't waste as much run energy. But I made a uh, notepad here that's explaining basically my plan. I'm going to get 99 crafting through this method. I'm going to make uh, symbols. And then by the time I hit 99 crafting, that'll put me at 85 smithing and 96 mining. So basically what I'm going to do is... Uh, get 85 smithing. I'm going to make myself a rune axe after I have this 99, of course. And then I'm going to work on 99 wood cutting and fire making by doing maples at the resource center area. I don't know what you call it. It's like a resource area, but I have to complete the course there curse to do that. But obviously, it's not going to be for a long time. So uh, After I do that, I'll move on to my combats, and I'll start collecting supplies to help work on smithing, since smithing is so annoying to do. Um... Mining obviously is going to become 99 just over time because it's going to end up with like 40 million XP by the time I eventually max, even though I'm sure it won't be for another four, five, six years if I do keep playing. But it's basically the plan. And if you want, you can pause and look at all this. This is like my rough plan. Um, combat, I don't have completely like figured out since I won't be doing it for a long time. I don't even know what I'll start with. I feel like I'll start with range, but I also kind of want to wait because I'm going to get a whole bunch of arrow drops so I might as well just wait until I have like thousands of it but we'll see I don't really know still uh, and I need to figure out the best things to kill to actually have resources for smithing because um, I also need to work on prayer too and I just found out today I was I had to go grab some money and I had it in the coffer at LMS but they just had an update I don't actually know when it was and they replaced LMS here um, it's not there anymore. It's actually in the wilderness. And they I, they added an anvil here. And then there's also a boneyard here that I don't think people know about. There's five regular bones here on the ground. And if you don't want to go into the wilderness, this is great. So this is probably going to be the method I use after I'm done with combat. And I'm clearly not going to be anywhere near 99th um, prayer. I think it's about almost 3,000 XP an hour. Maybe just pick up four of them here, not the fifth one, because it actually takes too long to walk over to that one. So there's one right here, right here, right here, and right here. So I just walk down, over, down, swap worlds, grab this one, go over there, 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 and back and back and back and back over and over again until I have a full inventory. Then I uh, bury all of them and repeat. So that's going to be probably the plan, unless there's another update. I'm sure there will be another update by the time I um, am even focusing directly on prayer that might be better but that's the plan for now I could probably put this in here I haven't updated it since but that's basically my uh my update here I think I showed it but I have my shoulder pair now too still working on getting that monk's robe top and then my fashion scape will be complete but yeah so there's my little update 99 crafting 96 mining 85 smithing 99 99 combats and then go back for 99 smithing. 
and then we'll see where we go from there. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the update. Um, sorry, I probably won't post another one for a long time because it's just so slow. But if anybody is in a similar situation, I think this could really help you out if you're a free-to-play UIM, like my plan here. And if you haven't watched my videos before, I basically just got 70 crafting out of the way. I mean, obviously it's not necessary. You don't have to do that, but I got 99 fishing and cooking out of the way real quick, but I got 70 crafting to save up the money for fishing. And I bought basically all the feathers and just cranked out 99 right off the bat as fast as I could. And then, yeah, I just explained what order I'm going in after that, but so if you're looking for a rough like idea of what you could do, that's basically what I did. I know a lot of people don't do it this way, but I feel like it's a lot more straightforward this way. And then combat's all last, so that'll be a joy. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, whenever it may be.